speed bridge double row rotator cuff repair. This is the right shoulder of a 53 year old lady who sustained an acute rotator cuff tear two months ago. Fearing from within the joint we can see the u-shaped tear in supraspinatus. We've gone into the subacromial space, viewing from the back, we've taken off the coracoacromial ligament we're now doing an acromoplasty to remove the spur. Viewing from the midlateral portal we can see the tear and the exposed footprint. We're bringing in the radio frequency probe to release any adhesions on the superior surface of the tear or the muscle. So having done that we're now going to bring in the shaver and uh, debride the undersurface of the tear. Pulling with the grasp we can see the tear is nice and mobile and easily covers the footprint so no release is required. We're removing the soft tissue off of the footprint with the radio frequency probe and shaver. We're now using a burr to create a small trench just behind the medial row so we're going to get some nice bleeding bones. So having prepared the footprint we're going to put in our first posterior anchor at the posterior edge. This is a swivel lock which is loaded with blue fibre tape so having screwed that into position we're going to load the splice tape into our scorpion we can see we can take up both delaminated parts so we get a nice pull, pull that back and then deploy the suture so the tapes have been passed and pulled through so we get a nice pull. So we're now looking at the anterior anchor so we're putting the anterior edge of the uh, tear, knock that down. This is a white tape so this is going to be screwed in and the tapes again are going to be loaded into the scorpion. Both laminae are picked up and the scorpion deployed. The tapes pull through, so when we pull on both tapes, we get to get a nice reduction of the tendon over the footprint. The all is positioned lateral to the posterior anchor, the hole created, and a swivel lock loaded with the tape from the front and back anchor is then positioned. This is tightened to the right tightness, and then screwed into position. The anterior lateral hole is then created, the tapes loaded into an anterior swivel lock which is inserted, the tapes are then tensioned. When we're happy, this is going to be screwed into position and the tape's cut. So at the end of the procedure we can see we've got a nice tensionless repair, the footprint's nicely covered by the tendon, there's plenty of space underneath the acromion. Viewing from within the joint, this was the original tear and this is after it's been repaired. If you'd like to see more videos on shoulder surgery, visit my YouTube channel Cambridge Shoulder my website cambridgeshoulder.co.uk